Tao overflows. Life a psycho drama. Acceptance is transcendence. A non accepting mind will not accept anything, but if you can accept your loneliness, your depression, your sadness, you are you are transcending already. Acceptance is transcendence. You have taken the very good ground away and then the depression cannot stand there. The moment one begins to feel that life is a psychodrama, a leela, a play, then one also feels detached and lonely. If this happens, then feel it. There is no need to create any problem. If you feel detached and lonely, then continue to feel it. But we go on creating problems. Whatsoever happens, we will create a problem out of it. Feel lonely and detached. And if you can be at ease with your loneliness, soon it will disappear. If you start doing something with it, to transcend it, it will never disappear. It will remain there. Now a modern trend in psychology and psychoanalysis says that anything can disappear if you remain with it without creating any problems. And this has been one of the oldest techniques of Tantra. For the last 10 or 12 years in Japan, a small psychotherapeutic technique has been in use. A small psychotherapeutic technique is in use. Western psychoanalysts and psychiatrists have been studying it. It is a Zen therapy and it is wonderful if someone goes neurotic or psychotic that man or woman is simply put in a lonely room and he or she is told remain with yourself whatsoever you are neurotic okay then be neurotic and live with it and the doctors do not interfere food is provided all needs will be fulfilled attention will be given but there is no interference the patient has to live with himself and within 10 days he starts changing western psychoanalysis works for years and basically nothing changes what happens to this zen patient there is no interference from outside there is and when there is no interference from outside there is just acceptance total acceptance of the fact that okay you are neurotic nothing can be done zen says that one tree is small and another tree is big so okay one is small another is big and nothing can be done to it can you do anything once you accept a thing you have already transcending it the process of transcendence has begun one of the most original psychiatrists from england rd liang 
has now proposed that if we can leave a madman to himself, just paying loving attention to him, fulfilling all his needs but not interfering with him or his process of neurosis, he will get over his madness within three to four weeks. His proposal is that no madness can last for more than 10 days if it is not interfered. It lasts for long simply because it is interfered with. If you interfere, then you are prolonging the process. What happens? When you are not interfering in anything, the human mind in a situation like this wants to interfere and that is one of the greatest mistakes. What happens when you are not interfering in anything? You feel lonely. So feel lonely. Go on feeling like this. It is how you are. And when you feel lonely, you start doing something and then you are divided. Then one part of you feels lonely and the other part tries to change it. It is absurd. It is just pulling yourself up by your legs or the string of your shoes, pulling yourself up to the sky. This is absurd. You are lonely. So what can you do? Nothing. There is no one else to do anything. You are alone. So be lonely. And this is your fate. This is how you are what will happen if you accept it? If you accept it, the fragmentation that one part wants to be lonely is lonely, the other part goes against it. If you accept it, your fragmentation will disappear and you will become once again one. You will be whole undivided, the schizophrenic nature will disappear. If you are depressed, so be depressed, but do not do anything. And what can you do? Whatsoever you do will be done out of depression because you are already depressed. So anything that you do it will be the outcome of depression. So it will create more confusion. You can pray to God, but you will pray so depressingly that you will even make God depressed through your prayers. Do not do that violence. Your prayer is going to be a depressed prayer. But you may say, I have never heard a depressed prayer. Yes, whatsoever is your approach to life, your prayer will emerge out of that. You can meditate, <coughs> but what will you do? The depression will be there because you are depressed. Whatsoever you do, Depression will follow each one of your actions, whether you are meditating or praying or doing anything. Even if you engage in cooking, your cooking will be a depressed cooking. And if you are sensitive, you can feel those sentiments and emotions in even cooking whatsoever. If a depressed person is cooking something, after eating that, 
if you are sensitive you feel that effect whatsoever you do depression will follow more confusion will be created more frustration because you cannot succeed and when you cannot succeed you will feel more and more depressed and this can go on ad infinitum it is better to remain with the first depression than to create a second circle or go on increasing second circle the third circle and go on creating circles after circles of depression different layers of depression remain with the first because the original is beautiful the second is false you are trying to solve your problem of depression in that you create a false layer and the third will be a far off echo do not create these the first is beautiful you are depressed so this is how existence is happening to you at this moment accept it you are depressed so remain with it wait and watch you cannot be depressed for long because in this world nothing is permanent this world is a flux it goes on changing this world cannot change its basic laws for you whether you are a buddha or not this world cannot change its basic law for you so that you can remain depressed forever but the problem arises we try to find the solutions or check the psychiatrist or take antidepressant tablets and all that and thus you complicate the situation and make yourself more and more depressed nothing is here forever everything is moving and changing existence is a river that is rivering it cannot stop for you just for you so that you can remain depressed forever it cannot happen suddenly a breeze comes in but this breeze will not remain there always for you if you look at your depression you will feel that even your depression is not the same the next moment it is different it is rivering and changing continuously just to watch and remain with it but do not do anything this is how transformation happens through non doing whatsoever transformation happens happens in the state of non doing you start the process of doing then doing must end into non doing this is what is meant by effortless effort this is how transformation happens through the state of non doing enough for now the talks on this will continue